Now, every time we use the internet, we hope, assume even, that our personal details go no further than the site we have registered with or logged onto. But this evening, the American internet company Yahoo had to make the kind of admission that any such business must dread. Someone has stolen the names, email addresses, phone numbers and dates of birth of at least half a billion, yes, billion of its users worldwide. But at least it was a couple of years ago. Yahoo was one of the pioneering early internet companies, at one time valued at £95.5 billion. Pounds. But today it's admitted it's been the victim of a data breach, affecting up to 500 million of its users. The attack first came to light last month when a dealer on the dark web offered 200 million Yahoo usernames and passwords for sale for just £1,400. Pounds. And today the Arizona-based company confirmed it had been hacked, saying... A copy of certain user account information was stolen from the company's network in late 2014 by what it believes is a state-sponsored actor. The account information may have included names, email addresses, telephone numbers, dates of birth, hashed passwords and, in some cases, encrypted or unencrypted security questions and answers. What we know so far is that it's probably 500 million records, which is enormous. It puts it way out in front of all the other data breaches of, of, of recent years. And also it's potentially much bigger than that because, of course, they, hackers might also have access to information and other things that people use their Yahoo accounts for. So it's a huge breach. We don't know where it's come from yet. Yahoo's only said it's a state-sponsored actor. So it could be China, it could be Russia. We don't know that yet. An ongoing investigation suggests unencrypted passwords, credit and bank details weren't stolen. But it's not clear how the hack will affect the £3.7 billion sale of Yahoo to US telecoms company Verizon, agreed in July. Advice issued from Yahoo's headquarters is that all users should check their accounts and change their passwords. Martha Fairley, News at 10.